never call you because every week I'm like, dude, did you no. call Dave? He's like, no, no, no. I never did. That's why I said, but right now, before I forget, and I, I keep meaning to bring it up on the show how much of a piece of shit he is over <laughs> it. Like, but I, I, I forget it. I really forget every week. It's all right. I keep meaning to call in and tell him that. But, you know. <laughs> and well, I, 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 I think the did. last time I promised him too, I was like, I'm gonna do it tonight. And tonight, then just, yeah, yeah. And then we got drunk and left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that was, oh, that was a top show. Oh my yeah, god, that, that was, was fun. That was yeah. a lot of fun. I had a blast. I, I really had a lot of fun that night. That was my that son was had fun. fun that night. That was Dude, really cool. That's cool. awesome. I don't know if you saw though in the one picture, I made the Christmas card out of, and I, I did block him because I was like, oh, I don't want anyone. Oh, fair enough. You're like, oh, you got minors. <laughs> He's a young adult. <laughs> Nah, he didn't drink or nothing, but I don't know. He's no, but he drove home. A kid with Slim in the picture? I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, they were proper distance apart. <laughs> they were. It's true. They yeah. were two oh. arm lengths apart. Yeah, which is now what, I can hear myself. What yeah. everybody <laughs> tells them. Everyone I showed, like, the karaoke to were like, who's that kid? Why is there a kid in this video? <laughs> we just found a random kid on the yeah. street. Whenever I, see, whenever I see, you know, I have my kids up. I just he was my showed intern. them a picture of Slim, and I smacked him, and I said, if you ever end up like this, I'll disown you. <laughs> I, I've said yet. that to my son a few times about a few of my friends. I'm like, yeah, see this guy? Yeah. You never talk to guys like this in public, you know? You just, That's just right. run as fast as you can. You don't fucking talk to anybody like that in public. I, you know, my son was, has been screwing up in school lately, right? He so, has been or he hasn't? Oh, he has. That's part of the reason he was here that night. Because he's not allowed to be on. He's starting to get a little better with his grades. So, you know, oh, okay. I, I let him sit home. I had to take away the Xbox all that fun shit. Mm. And, you know, where was I going with that? Oh, so, you know, I'm like... When you try to be, you know, discipline a child, you know, you have to give up, bring up examples and stuff. So, I'm, you know, I'm like, do you remember meeting my friend Brian, you know, the one that had no teeth? He got left back. <laughs> That's, That's the best motivation right there. Right? But I started naming every, like, degenerate friend I had. And the one thing they had in common was they were left back. Now, I had other friends that were degenerates that didn't get left back. But I figured if I bring them up, he'll pay attention back slightly much more. <laughs> Like, yeah, you remember the guy no teeth yet? You can end up like that. Yeah, you don't mm-hmm. want to be like that guy. Do your homework, really. you'll have no teeth. Like one of the construction <laughs> workers I work with. <laughs> I think we've that all worked shot. with that guy. That one guy with no teeth. Yeah, oh yeah. We had a guy who was like a coal miner and shit. <laughs> yeah. or he, he mined for gemeralds and shit. In Montana, he was a, he was a good oh, guy. Oh, just this one guy that I work with. He's got, he's, like, he's got all of his, he's only got his, like, four front, Top and bottom teeth, and then like nothing else. And all day, he says, <sighs> "You know, I gotta get up there and fix that fucking two thirty-five. But in the meantime, I gotta go grease these machines. But in the meantime, I gotta go take a shit. In the meantime, take me down to the welder so I can have a wine cooler. <laughs> and let me go buy a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> and they always need cigarettes, those guys. Yeah, of course they do. Fucking wine. Who? Do, what kind of construction worker drinks a wine cooler? That's, right. <laughs> That's the girliest thing. In That's the, world. the girliest fucking thing in the world. And all this guy says, he was on the, my on the phone yesterday with me for five minutes he must have said in the meantime about 50 fucking times oh, in the meantime sloppy party bottom i think oh yes <laughs> that's that's where it all starts speaking of getting left back though my son william was in first grade and he got left back and like it's like oh he might my not god have teeth. we have to watch out <laughs> oh I, shit but i'm watching his teeth very carefully now you know no, but i think he was just a little too young for because he was younger then, uh, because they're both, my sons, we're in the same grade, they're 10 months apart, and the little guy was a little young for it, and this year he's doing great, so, hopefully. Well, that's the first thing my son said, because he was like, he's literally the day, at, like, the cutoff's but, October 1st, he's October 2nd. Is yeah. Oh, he's sh- like, well, maybe I should be in that grade anyway, I'm like, boo this? fucking who? How about I just kick your ass? <laughs> but at that age, he's older, man. I yeah, just... like, you can't do that. I'm like, no. I'm like, he had a friend, one of his friend's sisters got left back. And was in the same grade, grade as you know him and his friend now. I'm like, you know, you were making fun of her, right? How, how do you think everybody else that you know doesn't like you and know you is gonna make fun of you next year when you're in eighth grade again? Yeah. When you don't get to move over, how how much fun is that gonna be? That's it. You know what the worst part? Oh. My friend Brian, I was saying, I had no teeth. I didn't realize he was missing teeth because I haven't seen him in a while. I knew he was homeless, living in Bryant Park for a while. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and, wow. And now he's married and has a house in Tom's River. Thirty-two wow. teeth less later. Yeah. Didn't realize that until after I was at his house with my son. He's like, hey, you know, stop by. You're you're in Seaside. Come on by. I'm like, all right, I haven't seen you forever. What the hell? What are you doing? Yeah. 
I get up there, and he gets gives me that big gum smile, like, Ooh. oh, shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm horrified. My son's like, what the, where the hell am I? Why, why are we still here? Can we go home, Dad? Can we Did go he home, have, like, Dad? one black tooth left? No, like... nothing. It was oh, no. He, had, he didn't wow. have that, that, that that's, once. that's when you start talking like Jack Lemmon. You're a fucking secretary. Fuck you. That's right. Fuck you. And kiss my ass. Uh, holy oh, shit, man. dude. Is it slim time? Slim time. Slim time. We don't have the, the timer. We used to have an intern that would keep track of the minutes for slam time every minute. Yeah. He left. He fell in love. <laughs> he never came back. Oh. The executive intern is, you know, indisposed. He is. He's supposed to be here tonight. Now so Slim's going to have to drink Four Locos. Yes. Oh, God. And a lot four of loco shots. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. And where's that makeup? Do we still have that in the... Uh, yeah, I think Makeup? We you sure you guys aren't gay? The, oh, no, <laughs> it, it was for Black History Month. But, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah uh, you got it. Blackface. Uh, We're gonna do this show. Uh, the Black Lives Matter will be protesting this show now. <laughs> Did that, Bam, Robin uh, Slim! That guy blew his brains out. Did you see that story? The guy that started that? Yeah. That movement. I'm like, what are you saying now? Like, He they, gave up. They don't matter? Or your life didn't matter? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? You dumbass. <laughs> he got all that money from fucking Beyonce. Uh, and that's what he fucking did with it. He bought, bought himself a, bought a, a big a very, ass gun. He bought himself the best gun, gun. he could yeah. find. <laughs> and he went into his What's closet Messiah, and he man? blew his motherfucking brains out. <laughs> did you ever hear that cunt, Dave? Yes. That but, fucking You know, bitch. it's equitable distribution, though. Now he can spread that money amongst the rest of the black lives. Yeah. That actually are alive in matter. I thought it was going to his funeral, though. Well, yeah, it doesn't cost that much to bury a guy. I'm pretty sure they're going to get Parliament Funkadelic to play at his funeral or something. <laughs> no, no, they, I they want don't that do that That's cool. That would be fucking awesome. Where's the Messiah? That would be good. Here's what she said. Go home, go in your closet, get your best gun, and shoot your motherfucking self in the head. <laughs> we had a lot of good callers that night. We did. We had a, three amazing callers I, that yes, night. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> to, to Phil and Nick and anybody else who hasn't heard that or know who the Messiah uh, is, it's the Messiah. She's a young... Elderly black woman who believes that she is the Messiah. Jesus, Jesus was confused. Was he confused. didn't know what the fuck he was She's talking a, about. She's above the yeah. chain on Jesus. She's yeah. above us. She doesn't. We don't even comprehend how smart oh, she is. We are puny humans. Yeah, as she says. Yeah. And she told us that because we. Are, but if you're a positive, you'll live forever. Never fucking heard of her. And she says the reason people up. die is because Jesus was wrong. Like he wasn't the Messiah. If if people, I guess, take her, they'll live forever and shit. She said one She's other running thing. for president. She is, yeah. that's right. Mm -hmm. Good luck. <laughs> you can go kill yourself right now. <laughs> that's that's, that's what Messiah said. <laughs> <laughs> She's polling better than Kasich, though. So. Oh. <laughs> and Lamborghini, unfortunately. Kasich, I think, is two points ahead of me. You got lucky with fracking. <laughs> Kasich's two points ahead of me right now, so we're all right. Yeah, well, I'm fucking winning. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> How's Trump doing? Thank you, Nevada. Huge. Love you. Huge, huge Nevada. Huge Nevada. Okay. <laughs> what did Jeff drop out for? Cause... He sucks. Because he's a bush. Oh, shit. Because I'm not a Jew to my brother. <laughs> I was watching some of those, uh, what was it, the uh, debates with him and Trump. That was fucking oh, funny. It's hysterical. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're a tough guy, Jeb. Yeah, we all know you're a tough guy, okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm at 42 and you're at 3%, Jeb. <laughs> I, like, you know, all the debates the whole time, Jeb, Jeb Bush never could get his points across because he was too busy defending himself and fighting with Trump the whole time. I don't even know what his views were. <laughs> what was the thing where he demanded that Trump apologize to his wife? Oh, his wife, because uh, he said he was, he was weak on illegal immigration because he had a Mexican wife. Yeah. He was like, I, I won't apologize because I said nothing wrong. But your wife is a terrific woman. She is. She's the love of my life. She's right there. Will you apologize? No, I told you. I won't apologize. He said nothing wrong, okay? He always does okay at the end whenever he's trying to prove a point across. He's only got to repeat himself and say, okay, pick a boo, okay? He's awful. It was great when I met him. Was he Went up him? to Donald Trump, dressed as him, had his book signing as himself, went on Access Hollywood, UK in the Daily Mail blaze.com and i went up to him and i said listen we're gonna do this me and you together we're gonna build the world it's gonna be huge and we will make america great again you and me together and how about this john casey you got lucky with fracking okay <laughs> and uh he, he was he was excited he was laughing Don't you know? look at that and, and it's hard to get donald trump to laugh yeah you never see him laugh I didn't know if he would be offended by that. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, his, like, his guards or... thought I was like a Sanders fan or something oh. at first. I was like, no, I'm a volunteer on the thing. You could check. 
Wow. Yeah. Cool. But I'm with you. <laughs> you like my blue heaven. I'm with you. When I'm I say you. I'm with you, I'm with, with you. you. <laughs> I do a really good uh, Christopher Walken. Oh, do you? Can you hey, I'm Christopher Walken. Oh, get it. No. I'm Christopher no, Walken. No, stop it. Stop <laughs> it, baby. What's wrong with you? You're drinking way too much of that Heineken. God, smoke a blunt and relax. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> On the way down, I was just showing Nikki my uh, Chris Christie impersonation. I was Ooh. slamming double bacon cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with that bag of shit? Is he even in the fucking running? No, like, not in a long time. I, don't I think can't so. even control the traffic situation of New Jersey, I but I want to run for president of the United States of America. I can't even handle one bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was great when he was, uh, what was he? Did he close off the, uh... The Polanski Skyway. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, George Washington Bridge. He closed on the toll booths to, yeah. like, back it up in that town that yeah. didn't support him. Oh, what, he stand in front of him? But he was in a <laughs> helicopter, like, laughing at it, yeah. and then he denied it. Like, oh, that was really, that was fucking Tell funny. me, is that not gangsterish shit? Though? Yeah, that is. Look. That's what I'm saying. I That's actually great. respect that. Yeah. His favorite, his favorite movie is The Godfather. <laughs> and then there was another thing where he fell asleep at a Springsteen concert, and they had pictures of him. Do you, wait, do you know he spent... Over three hundred thousand dollars in NJ taxpayers' money on food at MetLife Stadium no. since he's been governor. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Well, and he only goes I to the Cowboys games. To. I'm more surprised that it's only three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> but that's only one game a he year with the Cowboys. Need, he's probably like, uh, I don't need to. I don't need this. I'll throw it out. He takes like one bite of yeah. it. I'm the fucking governor. Who gives a shit? Yeah, right? Cheese stick, exactly. one bite gone. Funnel Who gives cake, a shit one about bite gone. Yeah. yeah, but not Dude. throwing it out like you. He's actually eating one bite and it's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. He's fucking, he's funny. But I, I always feel like guys from Jersey or New York, they don't do well, like Giuliani. In the yeah. Fucking, yeah. The yeah. last presidential election, like, they don't do well everywhere else. Like, mm -hmm. just... You know what the thing is, though? All right. Giuliani had the same situation as Christie, where mm. as an Italian-American, you have that weird stereotype, especially yeah. when you have that attitude. Yeah. Outside, outside but wait, of this area, but Giuliani shut down the mob. You know, that's funny because, Gi yes, he did. No, he didn't. He did a he lot shut, of douchey shit. He got guys. He shut down, shut down some drug dens. Yeah, well, Gotti, I, I like to see... A, it what, took ten times for him to get Gotti, and he got him on some bullshit. I like to see what Giuliani did to the mob. And Giuliani's know, more famous for shutting down fireworks and shutting down the mafia <laughs> fireworks Obama should do what, to ISIS what Giuliani did to the mob. I, that, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Giuliani just went way too far, because at first it was cool. At first he cleaned up the city, and it was a cool place. Then all of a sudden he just... Started shutting down everything, dressing in drag. Do you remember that? When yeah, he was like, he well, that I was okay he did that until with he Trump. dressed in drag. <laughs> that was <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> Humorous. But yeah, he went way too far, because at first it was cool, and then he just went. Yeah. I remember one of my buddies was going to get some shit from a place he went and got, and went and copped shit, and on the door was a sign that said, this drug den has been shut down by Mayor Giuliani. That is kind of awesome. Oh, wow. so that was okay. where we got our shit, though. A really good fucking No, but yet. you think about how cool it is when you go there and say, hey, by the way, Mayor Giuliani shut this d drug den down. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> like, that's, once again, gangster shit. That's Dude, awesome right there. You had to be, you had to buzz up. You had armed guards come down and get you on the elevator and bring you up to the place. Yeah, that sounds like an after-hours place I used to go to. <laughs> you ever see gangster shit that you've been to the Bada Bing in North Jersey? One side was a table with the shit, and one side was a, another side that had, like, all the sorts money? of shit. Like, um, people could bring in, like, trucks of stolen goods. Oh, yeah. And just trade shit. Yeah, there was one side that was all electronics and shit. I knew a diner in Jersey City that was like that. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Mike's. And that's what it was. Mallory M. You could go there. If you're there, like, they were only open to like, noon. Yeah. All right, so they they open at like four or five in the morning. Cause I'm not up that early unless I'm getting home at that time. So you know, four or five in the morning, they, they, you go in there. You could, you could buy anything you want there. Yep. You could get anything you want. You could trade or whatever you want to do yeah. while you're there. And you know, everyone's like, "Hey, what's going on? Hey, Uncle Mike, what's going on? Who's here today? Hey, you know." It's like I remember the good old days when you could go to like Port Newark, and I mean, even as recently as in the '90s, yeah. you go into Port Newark on a Friday. Now that you still may be able to do it, I haven't been there in a while, but. You go in there and you just drive up the side, and you know how people say stuff falls off the truck. Yup. You can actually see the trucks lined up where stuff's falling <laughs> so, out, so, and you can buy it. The trucks actually uh, fallen off its route, and now no, it's the, there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, the trucks still on its route. They're just on a pause. Oh, okay. You know, because they're, they're not allowed to drive that yeah. long. You know, there's rules against driving that, uh, that yeah, long. Yeah, they gotta take day. their break. So they have to take their break, and while they're on their break, they're smoking a cigarette, having some coffee, and some stuff gets sold out the yeah, back. Yeah, some stuff. It happens. 
<laughs> God bless America. <laughs> Oh, shit. But speaking of that, that's why people from this area don't do well. Because we're used to trying to make... You got that stereotype. But, Especially but it, as an Italian. It's not even yeah. just a stereotype, though, because people from this area, we're all a little fucked up in the head. Yeah. And it, I, <laughs> I mean that in a positive way. Hmm. Like, every one of us here, there's something mentally wrong with all of us. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. I'm from and North I, Jersey. I got it the worst. Yeah, I was from, like, from North yeah. Jersey, too. Yeah. We're all a little... We're all a when I lived out of state, dude, everyone was, like, shocked that I was, like, a cool dude because they're like... We always heard everyone from New Jersey was an yeah, asshole. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, the nor people from North Jersey and South Jersey are two totally different groups of people. That too, man. When I moved uh, down here, I didn't leave my room for like two I was months. I was technically sort of from Central Jersey. Yeah, I don't believe in Central Jersey. Jersey, so when I moved to South Jersey yeah. up by where, where I live now, it still took me years. I lived in Lawrence Harbor for like seven years before I felt comfortable wow. being there. Because it was so quiet. Yeah. And I, that's me trying to go to sleep with the, the TV on all the way up so I could try and hear noise. Because, <laughs> like, I'm used to, like, you know, and I, I'm in, thankfully I'm in the cop show so I can watch SVU Marathon <laughs> late at night and to try and help myself get to sleep. And I'm like, oh. Rape somebody again, please. I need to have the, I need the siren. The white noise. Please. I need said, the white noise so I can get some get some rest. But could you ever move back north? I don't know if I could because I'm I think I've gotten too used to this shit down here. I, I kind of feel that way too, but uh, I mean you were in Duck Dynasty headphones, so yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that shit don't fly up north. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless you're at a Walmart up there. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh that's, my god, it's right everywhere. Up. Unless you're way out in the weeds in Sea Caucus with the Walmart <laughs> over there. <laughs> Do they have Walmarts up north? Yeah. yeah. Wow. They did when I was a kid. Yeah, we're no, starting, no, we're starting no. to get Wawa's too now. Really? Um, every broad loves Wawa. I love Wawa. How do you not? Wawa's awesome. The coffee is Wawa's amazing, awesome. dude. I don't drink coffee. No. Fucking donuts coffee. I don't donuts drink coffee. Donuts is good, I don't but drink coffee sometimes I put a fucking half a cup of sugar in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> too much, dude. Like, yeah, like It just depends sweet. on who makes it. And I think that's what the Hindus think we like. Because they're like, how, how do we re relate to these white guys? Yeah. A lot of sugar, right? They're white, just like the sugar. Yeah. My, my, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in that house. <laughs> my office manager, my day job, uh, he's Indian. He's right off the boat and everything. And he was he showed me pictures of him, like, you know, walking with his... He had a found bride. <laughs> uh, they were walking over the Brooklyn Bridge and taking pictures. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, I could have recommended a nice... Uh, never mind. You're not going to go to a steakhouse. <laughs> Never mind, I'm sorry. A I'm just a douche. House. I can tell you really a bunch of cool places to go that you'll never want to be at. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you go over to Brooklyn Bridge, right at Peter Luger's. Great steak at Peter Luger's. Cash only, people. Don't make that mistake. You want to be embarrassed. Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have the cash. As a per mm. no, as a person, like I don't like carrying cash. Yeah, I, I, always yeah. I don't think a lot of people do anymore, man. Right, but like, cash. there's still very few places yeah, that'll do barely that. Do I yeah, carry cash. my barber shop is one of them. He only takes cash. And yeah, I'm like, dude, if you had a credit card machine, you'd... he's he's packed though. It doesn't matter, dude. Yeah, he's packed either way. Like, you, you go in there, you wait an hour here? for him. Yeah. All right. So they have people that good down here. Oh, okay. He's that's, from up yeah. north. That's how. He, that's why he's good. And yeah, dude, he's right, Manhook and Carmelo's. He's fucking awesome, dude. I know. I have a few friends that will just get pissed off at me when we go to restaurants because everybody pulls out cash. They're like, you got cash? I'm like, nah, I got my card. And like, yeah. It's not that hard to ask for them to separate it or you guys pay and I'll just be like, I'm just going to put $10 <laughs> on this card. But they're like, how I, can I you still don't carry the cash, cash, though. I don't know because I'm always yeah. worried. Because I don't. I'm a human being in 2016. I'm not <laughs> yeah. cash on me. Yeah. Yeah. If I don't take all my cash out from the ATM, <laughs> I'm going to go over with the fucking card. Yeah. I'm going to have uh, overdraft fees and shit. I'll do it and, either way, though. So like I, I try to be I prefer that's to my cash. thing. I'm I'm more yeah, disciplined trying to cash. not have the cash on me because I'm afraid to use my car because I know I'll go over when I'm not paying attention. So I'm like, it will. I don't have the cash on me. Never mind. But like you, you gotta have like at least twenty bucks in cash. My like, no, ever no, really, no, never. Well, like, no, you gotta have at least money. something. I I used to carry a spare fifty, and I recently had to spend that because I didn't realize. I want McDonald's. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want McDonald's. Wait, wait, wait. Let me think. What's our intern? Shamrock Shakes. Oh, are they out yet? Sons yes, of they are. are they? The one right around the corner has got oh, Shamrock yeah. Shakes. Oh, fuck. I don't like that. No, no, I love it. <laughs> mm. I just want a double cheeseburger. I'm 250. I, I need Shamrock Shakes. <laughs> I feel I like Mitch should only be in gum. Had a shamrock shake Mitch should ages. only be in gum, yeah. dude. Not ice cream, not a shake. Dude, mint should be in everything. Nah. I fucking hate I, mint. I that reminds mint. me of toothpaste. That's not what I think, want to think about when I'm eating ice cream. That's two different things. No good. You got my vote. Whoever you were. <laughs> <laughs> Just no voice there. Just a stupid voice. It was my conscience. 
That was Santa. That's actually his conscience. That's what it sounds like. And yeah. same with like uh, yeah, that's lemon. My, <laughs> that's my conscience. Lemon shouldn't be anything besides like dish soap. I don't like lemon candy or even the Starburst. Starburst yeah. are delicious, but a lemon Starburst, no. You don't, ever, I don't know. Do you ever like get, like lemon what about lemon pies? parties? Did you, <laughs> lemon party. Hmm. Did you ever get, you ever get somebody to hand me? you a fucking cookie? Say, hey, you want a cookie? And they hand you what looks like a fucking vanilla sandwich cookie, and you take a bite out of it, and it's fucking lemon? No. Oh. You need to fucking warn somebody before I you give them a goddamn lemon cookie. Yeah, they're fucking lemon meringue bullshit. No, no, I, I like, like those that lemon that cookies. I like, but if you're not, like you said, if you're not expecting it, it's a horrible wash down the taste of that lemon. I feel like if you're an 80-year-old woman, you could like that. Yeah. I, I got know. blood and scotch. Like I do. I do like <laughs> like I like the lemon, lemon cream donuts. I want, I want a nice <laughs> where there's original, you know, because I'm like those 87, and I'm worried my hips are gonna shatter. And a Luden's cough drop. <laughs> Which they are fucking good. They but. are. Yeah, right. But the box looks so fucking old. Yeah, <laughs> I remember does. any time. Any, I remember any time I saw that box growing up, I thought the box was like 10 years old. In and your <laughs> pocket, it gets crushed with yeah. there's no cough drops. It's all squeezed together. <laughs> But it's only fucking candy. It's no yeah. medicine. What, what, was, what was that? Ludens that had the the little like cherry little things. The, the cherry and the licorice. And yes. I think since Whoa. I actually saw a bag the other day, they have watermelon now, so I don't know who they're Ooh, fucking trying to get with whoa. that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> but they have all different flavors now. Watermelon. Now, cherry, I got and I got a question for Slim now. The, the, what, does Joni ever bring over any uh, lemon candy? Or, I heard she keeps one in her party? stoma. Does she ever leave yeah. stuff over? <laughs> Every now and then I find she, some questionable things. Does she spend the yeah. night and leave, like, underpants and shit? His roommate, Peter I actually P. heard that's where he's at. He might actually be with Joni right now. Oh. oh they're right. trying to patch things up. Ow! Is she yeah. dead? It? I'm Christopher Walken. Ow! <laughs> Stop it again. <laughs> Is she trying to Scaring get a me. place of her own there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or is that too much? Is that too far? Did I cross the line? I'm sorry. Well, I didn't hear it because I was listening to Christopher Walken. Yeah. I, I said that, Shut that, the fuck up. <laughs> I said if Joni's there, she's trying to find a place of her own. Oh. 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 I'm Christopher Walken. No. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I have to comment on Nick's Christopher Walken. That's amazing because like you mean, so Ross, many right? every everybody does oh. can do a Christopher Walken impression, but they're all they all kind of suck. Like his is a genuine Thank Christopher you. Walken. Thank and you, you can impression. talk. It's Christopher walking and not just do lines from <laughs> yeah, fiction, like, like you know two little mice fell in a bucket of cream <laughs> the first mouse drowned the second mouse he tried to swim but he died at the end <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> that was beautiful i thought he kept swimming to make butter <laughs> oh that was leo's line in the movie <laughs> Christopher's son, I'm sorry. Leonardo no Oscar oh. 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 He's, he's our Suzanne Lucci. Come on. He, he's got to win. He's got to <laughs> win. Yeah, he's been been Stallone's so got to win. He's so good in The Revenant. It was ridiculous. Him oh, and Stallone both got to win. Amazing. No, they don't. <laughs> I don't feel yeah, like do. Susan Dude. Lucci, 19 years in a row, nothing. What do you mean? DiCaprio, be? I've never seen the ball <laughs> movie. I still but didn't even watch I've The Revenant. I've seen a lot of other shit he's been in. He's I just never been in a bad role that I've seen. Yeah. He's grown a lot. He's one of the. He should have won for Blood Diamond. Up the, uh, Blood Diamond was amazing. He was amazing. Yeah. What was the one with uh, Crow too? The uh... Body of Lies. I love that. Dude. That's not Oscar worthy though. Yeah, I, I just feel like he's never. Done How about a the band. Departed? You cocksucker! Oh, that <laughs> yeah. shit was amazing. Awesome movie. Oh my god. Jack Nicholson. Next time I tell you to dump a body in the marsh, you dump it in. Dimash, not where some asshole from John Hancock goes every Thursday to get a fucking blowjob. <laughs> Don't laugh. This ain't reality TV. <laughs> that was a great fucking movie, man. It was. Dude, it was fucking amazing. How long have you been doing impressions for Nick? When did you figure out your Since great? I came out of the womb. Nice. Yep. That's all I've been doing. Look, uh, there was a dick here before. Yeah. <laughs> you came out of the womb like, oh, bada bing, here oh, I am. I, I got a couple of gold. <laughs> <laughs> you came out with a little cigar out of the womb. Nice. My, my little Italian the chain. The baby in, uh, what was that, Roger Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, just got, like that. I got the horn. Like I got that. the horn over here on yep. my chain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Speaking of stuff that they don't know outside of this area, right? That little, the, the Italian horn. You go outside of... Jersey. I don't have it on. I got the cross on today. Oh, yeah, no, the horn. I... Yeah. The Italian <laughs> who keep the devil away. 
bunch of white people out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't crackers. know. They don't know. Italians aren't white. We're something else. <laughs> hey, something else. Oh, I'm the, the other white. <laughs> oh. oh, I play Italians, but I'm not one. <laughs> Even though I don't know that what scene. kind of Italian sounds like this. That scene in True Romance. Holy shit! Oh, oh my god, god. that's that the movie. best. It's the oh, best. That, that is Holy the best. Fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna reenact that whole scene soon. I think <laughs> that is right just now? too good. No, not right now. No, no. And you put it on YouTube. Have you seen that movie, Slim? No, it's I too really, and the movie doesn't really hold up as far as it's that not scene. that great of a movie. That's that the scene scene. holds up more than the yeah, movie. That's which scene, movie no, and, and, and that's like the only romance. that's the only like Italian mob seen. thing Tarantino ever did was, it was that the one first scene. First Tarantino movie ever. No, really, right? No, Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, really, I, I came it was after before that. No, I came oh. after. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think he might have wrote the script for True Romance before Reservoir Dogs, but Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, I think that was it. Did he not have like? He didn't direct to romance because no, no. Uh, Riley Scott I think did really Scott, okay yeah. yeah really Scott yeah all right yeah. and it had um it had Balky from fucking yeah that was the boss Val Kilmer as Elvis yes Val Kilmer and you as never Elvis saw his face amazing. yeah Brad Pitt Gary Oldman it had a great cast it, it did yes Christian Slater <laughs> oh boy and when you bring him back up in tone it's Jack Nicholson who was his uh who was his roommate he had a show on Fox for a short lived time he was a comedian. And he was bitching about buying cleaning supplies. Uh, Saul Robic? No, he, that was a that was the Jewish producer in the show. Yeah. I was gonna say Seth Green, but all right, never mind. No, no I, he wasn't in that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking of Greg the Bunny. Remember? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that shit. That was funny. <laughs> I'll Google it right now. Cast True Romance. True Romance. I mean, the script was my first He's movie. He's a pretty but... fucking funny comedian. He had a show, like I said, on Fox for maybe a season. Cause you know what Fox does shit, they they always do that shit. Cancel it immediately. Yeah, yeah. If it's not animated, it's fucking canceled. No, no, no they, I don't know. Michael Rappaport, is that him? No. Oh, I love no. Michael Rappaport. Uh, Michael Rappaport's awesome. He's overrated. He's awesome though. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you remember him as a uh, Superboy, Super in uh, Copland? Copland sucked. I never saw that. That you know, you had such a good cast in that movie with an awful screenplay. They they wrote my my, my boy got cut I out. I tried so. watching that movie. My boy five Chuck times. Weapon that got cut out. So Chuck Chuck was, Holy shit! I forgot you, Chris Penn was. His in that. daughter was such a whore. Maybe it was Michael. I don't know. Chris Penn. His daughter used. My friend used to fuck his daughter. So I like Chris Penn. What was he Cop, was amazing. What was it called? Dude. Cop yeah. Island. Copland. Copland. Cop Cop Island. Cop Island. What, what was... Cop Island. Close enough. It's a Cop fucking pirate Island. movie with cops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was Gar! Johnny Depp came over. <laughs> Shimmery <laughs> Sphincter. Cop Island. It's Cop Island, starring Johnny Deep. Johnny I'm Deep. here with Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> fuck Slim. <laughs> you make cops sexy <laughs> again, just like last weekend. That's how he almost over. got out of a ticket. Yeah, that's. Mm. <laughs> oh god! Hey, being being uh, Slambo's not here. Should we all just do a shot for him? Yes. Mm. Slam time. New guy gets the big shot. Oh, <laughs> you're, in, you're in the big shot chair. You are in the executive intern's chair. You are Originally, in the executive chair. When I was looking for shot glasses, I couldn't find. The smaller ones, that's all I found. This is the giant. There's only four shots that need to be made, so yours and yeah. three. That's yours. Slim, do you need one? Yeah. I'll take a shot. Okay. Yeah, he needs one. Or do you want your whiskey? Or do you want to share your whiskey? I'm... It's almost gone, actually. <laughs> the winter's almost gone? Yeah, oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, the, the winter. winter. You know, back in the I day, day the I remember when I was a bartender, <laughs> the shot glasses were normal. These are gay. <laughs> very, very gay. And they're skinny and gay. Yeah, they're skinny and gay. <laughs> Slim, did, did you happen to see the picture that my I showed you? My boss uh, moved on from the Windsor. No, I, I didn't. never heard that. I'm sad. He, he's on to Kirkland. He has oh. this Kirkland Canadian. It's Kirkland. Oh, it's that, actually pretty damn good. That was really? just Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Costco. Yes, Costco. Jewel said some of the Costco uh, liquor is good. She said there's one that's like amazing. Do you know they have their own winery in California? Do they really? Yes. Maybe it Costco. Is they I, have I'm trying to think money. of what she said. Yeah, it was. Really I saw it on CNBC. Like, I'm surprisingly, like surprisingly good from their fucking line of liquor. Awesome. Where's that? Shot? I get it for what you. are these? He some cards out. I don't know. I just I oh, had a stack of cards. Oh, I thought you brought so them. I'm like Mike. No, you never gave those cards. out. No. <laughs> Where's job, Pete Mike. to lay down? I gave I gave Slambo like a stack, and he lost them. I think he's like, oh, they're in my dad's car. Oh, I, I thought you were saying a raid by the cops. <laughs> Probably. <laughs>
<laughs> fucking slambo. What are you doing? We're at hey. the Robin Slim show and you're fucking texting, asshole. Oh, oh, I'm not texting. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, oh, oh hey, this fucking guy. Walk, hey, oh. hey. God bless you, Slambo. Fuck yeah, this is to you, Slambo. Slam time! We miss you, Slambo. Why the fuck are you guys drinking Pinnacle? You guys definitely are gay. I got that from, <laughs> from Dave. Definitely from Dave. gay. I brought that for Christmas. Christmas. This is too fucking sweet. I got Ajita. I heard about this oh my God. amazing flavored vodka. It is it's amazingly good, gay flavored. It's unfortunately oh, like gay flavored. <laughs> but you know, so I, this is the official Bernie Sanders supporter vodka. <laughs> Tastes like whipped cream and cum. In my defense, I did hear about this stuff from a woman. And you know something? Women had to have really sweet shit that you don't really uh, taste the alcohol. I like it, though, And dude. I'm enough of a bitch that I'll drink it with them. After the first oh. time when you brought it, I was like, the next day, I'm like, I just want another shot of that shit. It was so it's, good. It's, it's good. It's not bad. Yeah. And a couple of my friends were like, is it too sweet? I'm like, I don't think so. It's just enough like sweet You don't think so? Shit. What could be... What, 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 what's sweeter than that? I don't know. Uh, the, no, the gummy bear flavor. <laughs> yeah, the gummy bear flavor. <laughs> sweetest fish, the sweetest fish flavor. Yeah, the sweetest, the really, sweetest yeah. fish. They make Swedish fish flavor? Yes, yes, they do. Italian ice from Rita's. Have you ever had it? Oh, uh, no, I have not. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, oh my God. Well, three more weeks till our free uh, ices. Oh, yeah. Free ices? Yeah. First day of spring, they always give out free ice. Oh, I, I thought we were talking about the terrorists. Oh. I, <laughs> uh. <laughs> I really thought I that was a good one. <laughs> I thought too. Yeah, I was my like, stupidity was a great joke. No, that's that's I, I, just, I knew what you were talking Same about. No. You brought up readers. How did you forget it? It was I your speaking, it you said it. it a speaking of ISIS, before, you know what really ticks me off with these these people that fucking say ISIL instead of ISIS. It's I, well, like I've I feel never like heard that one. Yeah, no. Bernie Sanders. We need to stop uh, ISIL. ISIL. There is no ISIS. Only ISIL. When your kids are sick, ISIL. Lysol, Spray on the doorknob. Fuck. Going back to like the alcohol that like girls drink. All my female friends drink that fireball shit. Oh, that's not that's bad. Awful. What is that? I don't like it. It's like, it's like the, cinnamon whiskey. To be, yeah, to it be tastes honest, like the uh, like fucking seventy five percent of the people that I know that drink all drink fireball, uh, and I'm yeah. like. I took a walk down like, through the fucking Route 9 and saw fireballs everywhere. It's remember like that, Slugger? Remember, no, remember that candy, the, what were they called? The little red, um... Warheads? Yeah. Red Hots? The Red, the red yeah, Hots. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what they taste like. Hot tamales? Yeah. Said, that, the first time I had fireball, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. Hot tamale, I'm sweating. Do you remember that? You might not have. Yeah, the hot... What was that song? Mm. Oh, that pop, pop the Molly and I'm Pop and Molly, I'm sweating. Yeah. And our buddy Jay thought it said hot to Molly. I'm hot to Molly. I'm like, you just made the kids bop version of that song. <laughs> <laughs> hot to Molly, I'm sweating. But where do we go with that? Is it like Gold Sugar? No, no, it's, it's not, not like Gold Sugar. Gold Sugar would say that. It's not yeah, that is like the, the, the big that's red. That's the high end. Yeah, that tastes like oh, It's kind of like Aftershock, but, um, if anybody remembers that shit. Is that I'm the I'm candy at the bottom? Yes. That I do remember. I don't think I ever had it because I heard it was really fucking strong. I have a picture of me in a pair of shorts wearing cornrows. <gasps> what? Oh, we Wait gotta see that picture. Oh, I have to find it. Where do we see that? I will find it and get it to you guys. Uh, we have to. But see meanwhile, this I'm standing there. We were taking. You know how people do like the with the ice bucket challenge videos now. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. we were doing aftershock pictures. You know, because it, it had that real sharp taste. It was like, ooh. And so he was like, there's a picture of me with the bottle going, ooh, with my fucking cornrows in. <laughs> Summer of 95. Nice. <laughs> I was just graduating high school. So was the girl I was with. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh. I take that back. She was a, a freshman in college. Oh. <laughs> I was a sophomore in college. It's okay. <laughs> I started okay. late. It's a late bloomer. That's what I say. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break? Yes, we will take a very quick break, and we'll, and be, we'll back. be back. I got to take this. Right, let's cross streams like Ghostbusters. Let's right. do it. Fuck yeah, as long as you got it to beat the bad guy. Well, right I to do the interview now?